Nothing quite like a vanilla cappuccino to start off a video. Hello, little gremlins! So, yeah, today's video is gonna be about pointlessly gendered products. Yeah, I'm a little nervous, but probably gonna get humored, so it'll be worth it. Before we get started, I do want to provide a quick disclaimer that if you use these products, I don't hate you or anything. This is just, you know, I like, I often get humored by this sort of thing, so is funny to me because it took forever for me to find out that I was trans and now that I have it, gendered products just are kind of funny to me a little bit. Uh, I hope that made sense. But anyway, on with the video. This one has multiple <laughs> different uh, pointlessly gendered products for, for men. Uh, <laughs> very good example of fragile masculinity. <laughs> oh my gosh. When your masculinity is so fragile that you can't even use <laughs> toilet paper. Oh my gosh, that that's hilarious. And toothpaste, toothpaste for men. <laughs> Candy bars for men. <laughs> Will the future be as embarrassed of gender as we are of flared jeans? When you're mad... <laughs> Masculinity is too fragile, but you want a backbone. <laughs> this is perfect. Th this is absolutely perfect. <laughs> Next one is sprinkles. Really? Boys sprinkles? Pretty pink sprinkles. Ah, yes. The two genders. Boys and pretty pink. Why do these need to be gendered? They're fucking sprinkles! Okay, this next one, I don't know what it is, but I'm assuming that it's a snack because it's got like flavors and stuff. And so it's Tough Guy and Little Princess. Nothing quite like enforcing gender stereotypes on kids who are just trying to eat their snacks. This next one is like baby clothing. The first one is a girl's clothing and it says, I hate my thighs. And then the second one is boys and it says, I'm super. Those are my two trans moods, if they were an image. <laughs> Just, your thighs are bleh. Me working out like, yeah! Oh, yeah, let's go! That moment when your masculinity is so fragile that you have to get different laxatives than a woman does. Even is this? <laughs> Just tea, who gives a fuck? Gendering tea, then I'm just gonna stick with coffee for the rest of my life. I remember these. I remember when I would be told what my desires are as a woman and what I was supposed to do for my man and what our relationship was supposed to look like according to God's will. I remember how men are supposed to be the leaders and everything like that. My personal hot take is that God created everyone with their own individual purpose and it's not really any of your business to say what it is. But hey, you know, that's just me. You can raise your kids however you want. I don't have kids, and I'm not going to tell you how to raise them. That moment when you have to gender self-adhesive heat pads. For the women's one, it says that it's comfortable and discreet because, you know, heaven forbid somebody see that you, you're in pain. Which, you know, I thought was, a, was something from toxic masculinity, but, you know, baby water that's gendered. What the hell is this? Since I'm trans, if I, if I drink the women's water, does that mean that I, like, explode or something? Like, like, what happens? So, we're at a restaurant. Hungry man, hungry woman, and <laughs> Hungry waffle. Ah, yes, the three genders. Yeah, forget it. I'm not transmasculine non binary. I'm transmasculine waffle. Wyatt the waffle. <laughs> Wait, what? Why is Wyatt a waffle? Try saying that five times fast. Try commenting that five times fast. Just, ki just kidding, don't spam, don't spam. And on that waffly note, I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you all so much for watching, uh, please like and subscribe for more, and I will see you in another video. Later losers!